Alright guys, before we get started, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my patron, Majora. Uh, you know, man, without you, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be doing this right now. Your support means the world to me. It's what keeps me going. So yeah, thank, thanks so much. What's up, y'all? This is Lulu here. Uh, I'm just want to sit down and talk to you guys today with, about... A strike the blood scaling theory that I have uh, that I have in store. So we, for the longest time, as long as Nod has been introduced as a concept in Strike the Blood in the lore, have been made to believe that demonic energy does not work in Nod, and that's why vampires aren't very useful in there, and why specifically. Culture, the fourth primogenitor, is supposed to be so, so super special, at least in terms of in relation to Nod. And that's because it's only his beast vassals that work in there. Uh, I have a few issues with that, and I'd like to tackle that with uh, you guys today. My hypothesis is that demonic energy actually does work in Nod. Work in Nod. In fact, there is a bunch of evidence that it does. Uh, to begin with, let's talk about dragons. Dragons, as we know, are considered demon beasts to be on equal footing, at least equal footing, with the primogenitors. And yes, I understand it will that dragons were revealed to actually be aliens in the last volume of Strike the Blood. But that still shouldn't really change much of anything, as it was never really even defined what makes something a demon and what doesn't. As demons have existed even before the first vampires via the devas. Uh, but yeah, so dragons are demons, and Creed the fire dragon was able to use his fire, you know, he was able to use his magic just fine, no issues there. Uh, then there's Dimitri Vatler. He makes an appearance in, not in the final volume of uh, Strike the Blood in volume 22. Of course, we know he was sealed in there back during the War of the Primogenitors. Uh, the thing is, he was able to employ the cleansing in Nod, which, sure, you can argue the cleansing as why he was able to summon his beast vessels, as the cleansing allows you to warp a reality. Uh... Essentially, essentially limitlessly. Uh, the problem with that, though, is in order to employ the cleansing in the first place, you need to activate it via demonic energy. You can't do it otherwise. But even if you could, Dimitri exclusively, like, Dimitri specifically should only be able to activate it via demonic energy because he doesn't have any divine energy, magic energy, or spiritual energy. It's all demonic. And, but even if that's not enough, Kojo and it, you know, Yukina and the rest of Kojo's blood servants were able to be healed using Kojo's demonic energy. The thing is, is, you know, they were able to draw on it and be healed from their near-death states. So, it's very clear, very obvious to me that demonic energy does work. Hell, even if you're looking at uh, just... If you're looking at it from a verse mechanics point of view, we have a breakdown of the main three 
uh, energy types in Start the Blood. There is demonic energy, magic energy, and spiritual energy. Magic energy doesn't work at all in Nod. That was explained because magic, magical energy comes from uh, your natural surroundings, your natural phenomena, such as ley lines, the earth, etc. Spiritual energy does work in Nod because while it does draw from natural phenomena such as the ley lines, same as with magic energy, what makes spiritual energy different is the fact that you're also able to draw on your own flesh and blood for spiritual energy. Or rather, ritual energy, I'm sorry. But, um... The thing, the thing with the demonic energy is it's never actually explained to us what demonic energy is or what it consists of. In fact, for all we know, demonic energy is just ritual energy, but it's only called demonic energy because demons exclusively use it. Uh, but that, that's the thing, though. Like, even when you're looking at how vampires are supposed to summon their beast vassals, based off of how spiritual energy or ritual energy works, and the fact that ritual energy is the only one of the three main types of energy that works in God, you would think that demonic energy, or at least the summoning of beast vassals, would work in God as well. But it doesn't. So... The reason I say that is because you have to look at the mechanics as to how a vampire would summon their beast vessel. If you've read the light novel, it describes it in the light novel. If you've watched the anime, you've seen the spurts of blood or the mist of blood spray out any time the vampire calls their beast vessel. The reason that happens is because the beast vassals are actually living within the vampire's blood. So what happens when you're summoning your beast vassals is you're actually sacrificing some of your own blood to be able to physically manifest them. That's actually the in-canon reason as to why... Yeah, canonically why vampires are the only ones who are capable of actually uh, summoning beast vassals and as well as maintaining and sustaining them because vampires have essentially infinite blood infinite life force so they don't ever actually run out although it can be difficult to make and maintain control over the beast vassals so with that in mind, realistically, the only thing stopping the summoning of a beast vassal, of a vampiric beast vassal, from being a ritual instead of a demonic energy spell, is the fact that it's a vampire, aka demons, doing it. So, theoretically, I'm pretty sure I've sufficiently proven that demonic energy does work in Nod. But I guess I should probably uh, provide the other side. You know, there's always two sides to the story. Okay? So it's stated numerous times to be by reliable sources, including uh, Ren and the narrator that demonic energy, like magical energy, doesn't work in Nod. Like, it's stated that. We went over it in the beginning. And then, Kojo, Dimitri, and Evoro needed special beast vassals in order for them to be employed. Kojo and Evoro's beast vassals were literally, they were quite literally factory made to work in Nod. Okay? Like, they were built for that shit. And Demetrius' vassals were imbued with the cleansing, which we already went over in my previous points. But I mean, you know, so if I believe 
that demonic energy can be used in Nod, and it has been used in Nod. Why can't beast vassals, which are made from demonic energy, function in Nod under regular circumstances? Well, see, here's the thing, right? Check this out. Beast vassals feed off not only demonic energy, but also information. Yes, they are sentient beings. The beast vassals, they have their own thoughts, their own desires, and they desire knowledge. They desire information, they desire data. Uh, and the thing with Nod is, it's in space. It, it's basically a space station. Like, everyone's played Halo before, it's basically... A halo ring, but a sphere. A halo ball, if you will. Uh, it's speculated to be somewhere between Mars and Jupiter. And because of that, Nod literally exists within a vacuum. And, you know, a vacuum does as a vacuum will, and it kind of sucks in all sorts of information. All information. So, you know, the beast vessels have no information to feed off of. So, even if you could summon them, they wouldn't stay there. And because they're sentient beings, so they really are ever going to come out if A, they want to, or B, you somehow manage to force them out. There's no information for them to get out there. They're not even going to want to come out in the first place, right? It's sort of the blood spray that vampires exhibit from uh, summoning beast vassals. I speculate to be some. It, it's a sensation similar to Selfie from Do Rubber Ra, the Headless Rider. If you, if you guys have any experience with that series at all, it's stated well. There's this theory, there's this in-universe theory, that Selty is able to see, hear, and even really smell. I think taste, if I remember correctly, it's been a couple years. Through that black smoke-like tendrils that kind of emit from her neck cavity. Because what it's doing is it's sort of it's a sort of almost echolocation kind of thing where the tendrils or like the smoke is touching and feeding into everything around it and bringing back the information that it encounters and touches back into Selfie and it relays that as her senses. And I think that is very much similar to, if not exactly, what's happening with the blood and the beast vassals when it comes to beast vassal manifestation. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna have you're gonna try to summon a beast vassal out in Nod, so you're gonna have your blood come out out and kind of searching around for any information. And there's nothing. There's nothing there. So the beast vassals are gonna be like, all right, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay here, where there actually is information inside your body, where there is data. Uh, yeah, that's why I believe if that you can in fact use demonic energy in Nod. Uh, we should, one of these days, I'm really going to talk about how fucking ridiculous Dimitri is. Because, <laughs> he, he's, I love the guy so much, he, he's a character, he's a character. But, um, yeah, I've been Lulu, you've been whoever you guys are, and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. And with that being said... Uh, you guys let me know what you think. You guys, are you guys enjoying these, uh, sort of video essay style videos where I just kind of throw a topic and just kind of shoot my opinion out on there on that topic?
uh, let me know in the comments, like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see y'all later. Thank you so much.